working on building an EDF here. This is entirely 3D printed, um, both the fan blades and the duct around it. Uh, it's powered by this little brushless motor here, uh, 1,700 kV, um, and a 12 volt power supply for now, which eventually could be a battery. Um, and right now I'm measuring about an ounce and a half of thrust. I wasn't too impressed with it because this little thing here I found also has an ounce and a half of thrust and it's a lot lighter. So I'm trying to beat that. I'd like at least double that thrust if I can get to it. Um, right now I'm measuring it with this little stand here. Um, it fits at six ounces now. And if I spin it up, then it goes down to seven and a half. The thrust would change if it's moving, so it's not completely accurate, um, but still, uh, I'll try to do some modifications to see if I can improve that. I can only take it to about 60% power before um, it cuts out, uh, so maybe I need less blades. Also. Um, I might change the pitch angle. I've played around with it a little bit. This first one I made um, was very, very low angle right there. And this one I think was too high. This is a little bit in between, but I think I need to go a little bit closer to that. Um, this is it's pretty, pretty horizontal right here at the, at the beginning. So I'll play around with the angles a little bit to try to get more efficiency out of it. Um, maybe less blades will help. Um, Put less stress on the motor. I had to fight really hard to get this to be able to spin without rubbing. Um, these were, you can tell that there's a lot of rubbing that was happening on this first one. Uh, it would spin and stall and seize up and bind and same with this thing. It's super important um, that everything's spinning concentric otherwise when it gets up to higher speeds, then it'll the wobble will just get even worse, and it'll rub and scrape. Um, so this took a little bit of uh, thinking to get to this. Um, just everything has to be as concentric as possible. I'm using the student version of SolidWorks to design this, um, and it's really easy the way I've set it up to make changes on the angles. I just need to come in here, edit this sketch, um, and rotate this. I'm going to try 15 more degrees. So now the pitch angle here is 60 degrees. This is what a lot of other EDFs look like, so I'm kind of basing mine off of that. So now my pitch angle at um, the base here is 30, or sorry, 60 degrees, and the pitch angle here is 30 degrees. Hopefully that helps. Eventually I have plans to turn this thing into, this EDF, into a plane. Um, and so here's the wing that I designed also. Um, SolidWorks has a nice flow simulation feature. Um, right now it's showing me the pressure, the relative pressure on this wing and the cross section is sweeping back and forth. So you can see um, there's this low pressure zone above the wing. And um, it's like that the whole way down all the way up until the tip, we've got that low pressure. So that's nice. Um, and I can also, um, if I hide this and show instead the flow, uh, this is the flow of air. Um, more red means faster, higher velocity. But you can see how it flows across the wing. And if I look at the back, um, we can see at this end, um, which of course there'd be an airplane body here, but without it, we just have the wing stopping abruptly. There's a lot of um, rotation happening in the air, which is lost energy. But on this end, there is less rotation, um, which is good, very good. Uh, see, it's just rotating a little bit compared to over here. That means it'll be more efficient. 